Just started my run. Check it out. This thing is finished. It is not a monster. I was totally wrong. It is, what is it? Some kind of hipster with a masquerade mask on uh, on some type of like tea bar stand. Super creative. Today I'm going to be spending most of my day and likely the next three weeks sending hundreds and hundreds of emails. I think crafting a perfect email is difficult to do and that a lot of people now don't really know how to write a solid email. Actually, a lot of people out there I think are poor writers because we're used to texting, we're used to abbreviations and acronyms and not really writing full length sentences anymore with maybe some cool metaphor. I think we've become poor writers because of the environment that we've been living in. Have you listened to Ashes by Celine Dion? She has made a comeback. That song has been stuck in my head the whole entire day so far. Anyways, I'm going for a run now, and this is the first day I'm actually excited to go for a run. It is day 17 in a row of running. Gotta sweat. Over Christmas, I watched the movie Pride and Prejudice with Anne, and and I didn't watch the full thing because it's seven movies long. Uh, we watched the first one, and although it was long and, and slow, the English was beautiful. Bingley, I'm in no humor to give consequence to young ladies who are slighted by other men. If you compare that movie to today's like Baywatch movie, it's just night and day how different we speak. And that's not a bad thing, but we've really lost our ability to speak in beautiful English. Okay, I'm off to Beta House because I'm now an addict of their coffee. And uh, I should consider maybe vlogging about their coffee. Maybe they'll give me free coffee, or at least one free a week. Just crossing the street here. Back to writing for a second. I used to be a recruiter and I would send a few hundred emails a week and I would be perfecting the email so it would get a reply. I think when it comes down to writing, the best type of writing is the honest writing and obviously the one, the writing that doesn't sound too scammy. So that's what I'll be kind of creating right now is an email to reach out to major labels that doesn't seem too scammy but I can still scale with. One thing I do every morning to improve is I write in this notebook. It's called Notebook, just in case I forget. Um, it's not like a dear, a dear diary. I, I, I saw my crush today at school and, and, and she looked at me. It's just a practice session and it's 10 minutes long. It's, what you do is you pick an object in the room, whether that's like the curtains or your headphones or your computer or like the smell of the baked goods coming in your room if you live near a bakery or something, um, which I, I do actually. Um, fresh bread. You start the timer for 10 minutes and you write about that subject or object or what you've, what you've chosen and don't stop for 10 whole minutes and just write about the, the subject, write about what it looks like, um, if it smells like something, if like go through all your five senses and write about it and don't stop until 10 minutes is up. The 
first time is going to be horrible, it's going to be very hard, but just like anything, it's always hard at the beginning. Do that for three weeks straight, and I guarantee at the end of three weeks, you'll become a stronger writer. Let's see if I can find one that I've done recently that's not um, too embarrassing. Okay. The carpet below my feet, soft and furry, almost like a forest floor. Is it real? Some people ask not knowing what their desired answer is. Yes. In order, in order people will, see this is what happens when you do this. You never really reread these things. Anyways, I think you get the point. It goes on, like it's kind of hilarious um, reading through this stuff, but you see what I mean. It's, the thing is when you do this practice every day, your imagination, becomes tightly coupled to your style of writing and your voice. And that's when you become a really strong writer. Just got back home. I went to two cafes. I probably sent about 100 emails today, 100 custom emails out to different people. So productive day. Now I need to go busking. Okay, I'm here day six of seven days of busking and there's someone in the spot, obviously. Those are my expectations now. I'm just gonna wait here and see what happens. There's a nice sunset here, so I'm gonna take some footage. So this guy is a violinist and he's playing all the pop songs. He's doing them with all the drops. So he goes up really, really high and then he drops the beat. Okay, just got the spot. There is like half an hour of sunlight left. I am going to set up now. Okay, finished busking day number six out of seven. Here are my thoughts so far. I waste a lot of time waiting for a spot or walking around to find a spot. I find that time wasted. I could be doing something more productive like building my following online or doing managing any of my social accounts. So con for busking. Pro, I've made a lot of cool um, connections and relationships in person, face to face, and now they follow me. So quality follows, that's a pro. I'll have to do a more in-depth analysis when I finish my seventh day tomorrow. Mm-hmm.